I have already shown several types of SSD drives with various formats and storage capacities. Also, the best M.2 SSD, the Samsung 980 Pro PCI Express 4 with 2TB of capacity. But today, I'm going to show you one of the most popular M.2 SSD. But first, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. M.2 SSDs have become the most important component for the performance of modern computers, with impressive speeds and storage capacities for any use. These M.2 SSDs are small modules with a 2242 or 2280 format, which are mounted on the computer's motherboard with a high-speed PCIe Express interface. This speed improves productivity when using a computer. This is the Samsung PM991 M.2 2242 SSD, which can have a capacity between 500GB to 2TB. It is a powerful storage module that offers an impressive balance between performance and efficiency. This M.2 module has a 2242 format with a length of 42mm with a PCI Express 3 interface with theoretically sequential reading speeds that can reach 3500 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of 3000 megabytes per second. But the maximum speed may depend on the microchips of the M.2 module, but also if the file reading is sequential. But I'm going to do a speed test of this M.2 SSD to prove the real speed. Mounting an M.2 SSD in the computer is a very simple task. Simply open the computer and find where is the computer M.2 connection. Generally, this slot is identified as M.2 and only allows the M.2 module to be placed in one position. Place the SSD in the M.2 connection and place the screw to secure the M.2 module so that it does not become disconnected. And that's it. The SSD M.2 is installed and the computer is ready to be used. To test the speed of the SSD, I will use the Crystal Disk Mark, and I'm going to do a test under the best conditions to see what is the maximum possible speed. And now we'll get the test results of this M.2 SSD. You can see that the sequential read speed of this SSD was 2315 megabytes per second only 66% of the maximum possible speed of a PCIe Express 3 interface, but 2500 megabytes per second of sequential read speed is normal. And it's a very high speed, good for any task that you need to do on your computer. The result of the sequential write speed of this SSD was 1298 megabytes per second, around 40% of the maximum speed it could have. Although it is slower than expected, it is still a very good speed for the computer. These were the results of sequential reading and writing tests under the best conditions. With 2.3 gigabytes per second of file reading and 1.3 gigabytes per second of file writing. But under normal computer use conditions, this speed will be lower. Doing a complete test with sequential and random file reading, you can see that the results are lower. The more random of the reading of the files of the SSD, the lower the speed, which could even be little as 300 megabytes per second. And the same happens with the writing speed, but with even lower values. As you can see from the results, under normal use conditions, the speed is even lower. But these results will depend on the size of the files, number of files, and either if it is sequential or random reading. The heat generated by the microchips can reduce the operating performance of the SSD, so you must install an aluminium thermal heat sink to cool the SSD, because when the SSD is less hot, it will have greater performance, reaching higher speeds without failures. You must choose the heat sink with the appropriate size for the size of your SSD. There are many models of thermal heat sinks for SSDs for the 2242 or 2280 format. You must install the heat sink with the appropriate size. 
although the test result does not reach the maximum speed of the computer M.2 interface, the result is good for most users and computers. And it is an excellent SSD choice for those who want a good computer. But I recommend that you choose a model with at least 1 terabyte of capacity. But now, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. And if you have any questions, write in the comments.